Imagine a teenager on the gritty streets of Harare, armed only with rusted scraps and a single light bulb, dreaming up a car that powers itself. No plugs, no limits. That's the daring spark behind Maxwell Chikambutso's electric revolution. Maxwell Chikambutso's electric car is the culmination of a lifetime spent defying expectations. Born in 1980 on the rough streets of Harare, Zimbabwe, Maxwell dropped out of school at 14 when his family could no longer afford fees. Instead of giving up, he turned discarded electronics and rusted metal into classroom materials. By day, he navigated the cramped alleys of his neighborhood's scavenging parts. By night, he studied circuitry under the dim glow of a single bulb, guided by vivid mental images he believed were gifts from a higher power. Those makeshift radios and homemade engines weren't just child's play. They were the seeds of a revolutionary vision that would one day reshape how we think about electric vehicles. Conventional electric cars rely on banks of heavy lithium-ion batteries that demand hours at charging stations. Maxwell's flagship model, the Kai Scythe, promises to render that paradigm obsolete. At its core sits the Microsonic Energy Device, MSED. A bespoke circuit Maxwell claims can harvest ambient radio waves, the invisible currents pulsing through our airwaves, from broadcast towers, satellites, and even the Earth's natural electromagnetic field. According to him, these nanovolt-level signals, once thought too faint to matter, become a ceaseless power source when properly amplified and rectified. In Maxwell's hands, the Kai Scythe transcends the category of transport. It becomes a rolling power plant, capable of fueling itself forever without a plug. Driving the Kai Scythe is meant to feel both familiar and otherworldly. Passengers settle into ergonomic seats, the cabin silence save for the faint hum of the MSED converting invisible energy into raw torque. Accelerate, and the car glides forward with a smoothness that belies its power. Maxwell claims the Kai Scythe sustains continuous output of 15 kilowatts, enough to propel the vehicle to speeds topping 220 kilometers per hour. Yet its true marvel is revealed when you park at home. Rather than tethering to a charging bay, you simply connect a standard cable from the car's power port to your house's electrical inlet. Suddenly, your driveway transforms into an energy hub. Lights turn on, appliances run, and refrigerators hum, all without drawing a single jewel from the grid. The implications of such a system are profound, especially for regions where blackouts are a daily hazard. In many parts of Africa, power supplies flicker unpredictably, leaving families and businesses at the mercy of unreliable utilities. The Kai Scythe's reverse flow capability could transform any home with a driveway into a self-reliant microgrid. A fleet of these cars, Maxwell envisions, could serve emergency centers, rural clinics, and field hospitals, vehicles that both carry medical teams and power critical equipment. Disaster relief efforts could deploy Kai Scythes to remote areas, providing immediate electricity without waiting for fuel deliveries or portable generators. Maxwell didn't unveil this dream from a secretive lab in Silicon Valley. He demonstrated it before Zimbabwe's own president in January 2025. Cameras rolled as he drove the prototype onto the lawn of State House, Harare, then seamlessly powered a bank of lights outlining the presidential residence. Journalists from across Africa and beyond swarmed the event, eager to witness the never-charging car that had captivated headlines. For a moment, Zimbabwe outshone global tech hubs, and Maxwell stood at the center of it all. No longer the high school dropout tinkering in junkyards, but a national symbol of innovation and potential. Yet every great leap invites scrutiny, and the Kai Scythe has its skeptics. Established scientists point out that radio frequency energy is extremely low in density, Typical RF harvesters today power tiny sensors, not full-size vehicles. Thermodynamics, they argue, makes Maxwell's infinite range claims suspect. Extracting more energy than you input seems to violate core physical laws. Independent research labs have yet to replicate the Kai Scythe's reported performance under peer-reviewed conditions. Maxwell's preference for trade secrets over patents, while protecting his methods, only fuels doubts among engineers who crave transparent schematics and verifiable data. Maxwell welcomes the challenge. At subsequent showcases in Harare and at tech expos abroad, he invited experts to inspect the undercarriage, connect diagnostic tools, and measure real-time energy flows. 
He even staged a dramatic demo on a public road in the United States, successively running the car's headlights, climate control, and onboard computer purely on microsonic energy. Attendees noted the absence of a charging port, the car's sleek profile unmarked by any traditional battery pack, and the audible silence of its drive system. These live events, Maxwell believes, will tip the scales from skepticism to acceptance, if only researchers can conduct thorough, repeatable trials. Maxwell's story of self-education adds weight to every demonstration. Without access to formal laboratories or university mentors, he learned electronics by dismantling discarded radios and rewiring old motherboards. His makeshift workshop once lined a single corner of his family's one-room home. Today, that same spirit fuels his quest to upend the automotive industry. The visions that guided his teenage experiments now inform engineering plans for future models. A luxury sedan, a cargo van, even off-road utility vehicles. Each iteration builds on the Kai Scythe's foundation, pushing the envelope of range, power output, and form factor. The potential global impact of a truly self-charging electric car cannot be overstated. In developed markets, charging infrastructure remains a bottleneck for EV adoption. Users fret over finding stations and scheduling long stops. The Kai Scythe's promise of never plugging in could accelerate the transition away from internal combustion engines. Fleet operators, taxis, delivery services, municipal buses could slash operating costs by eliminating fuel and charging fees, investing instead in maintenance and route optimization. Governments committed to cutting greenhouse gas emissions might subsidize microsonic vehicles as a high-return leap toward decarbonized transport. Nonetheless, turning Maxwell's prototype into mass-produced reality demands more than conviction. Regulatory bodies must certify the Kai Scythe's safety, emissions profile, and electrical integrity. Crash tests, electrical isolation standards, and software security checks will determine whether the car meets global auto industry benchmarks. Manufacturing partners must adapt assembly lines to integrate MSED modules, ensuring consistent quality at scale. Supply chains for specialized components, RF amplifiers, high-efficiency rectifiers, advanced semiconductors must mature, and investors will need convincing projections that the market for self-charging EVs justifies the capital expenditure. History offers reasons for cautious optimism. Iconic leaps like Tesla's Model S proved the world was ready to embrace premium electric cars, and companies from GM to Volkswagen have since raced to electrify. Wireless power pioneers like Nikola Tesla once faced ridicule before the advent of rechargeable devices and induction charging made wireless energy mainstream. Maxwell's microsonic approach may represent the next frontier. Rather than merely eliminating cords, it seeks to erase the concept of charging altogether. If he succeeds, the Kai Scythe will join the lineage of transformative inventions that began as fringe ideas. As February 10, 2025 approaches, the date slated for the Kai Scythe's official launch, anticipation builds. Early adopters, tech journalists, and environmental advocates watch closely, eager to place their orders or witness the rollout. Will the Kai Scythe glide silently into showrooms, cables tucked away, its sleek silhouette hinting at a new era of autonomy? Or will skeptics uncover hidden battery packs, conventional charging ports, or performance shortfalls? The truth will emerge on roads and in labs, but either way, Maxwell's endeavor has already reshaped the conversation. Beyond the vehicle itself, Maxwell Chikambutso has ignited a broader narrative about African innovation. Too often, groundbreaking technology is assumed to originate only from Western research centers. Here is a Zimbabwean autodidact, wielding ingenuity born of necessity, who has challenged global power structures and dared to dream bigger than the limits his environment imposed. His story reinforces that cutting-edge ideas can emerge anywhere resourceful minds confront urgent challenges, whether in Harare sprawl or a Silicon Valley garage. No matter the outcome, Maxwell's electric car has achieved something rare. It has shifted our perspective on what a vehicle can be. The Kai Scythe invites us to see cars not just as transport but as partners in energy resilience.